Hey guys, it is Saturday. Ozzy is charging at me with a toy. What you got, babe? Um, anyway, so I wanted to hop on here because I don't think I mentioned that I actually purchased a new foiling machine um, like last week and it actually got delivered to mom's yeah. last night. So I'm feeling a little bit better today. I still don't feel great, um, but anyway, so I am going to, um, it's Ozzy's toy. I'm gonna go over to mom's. I'm going to test out the new foiling machine. I wanna, tr I wanna try it on glossy premium matte clear, um, clear gloss just to see like how it does. Um, I think it's gonna be okay, but it's not a mink. And this is like, anytime I try to use anything that isn't a mink, I don't seem to get very good foiling on glossy. Um, premium matte generally does all right, but, and I've not tried the clear um, gloss on anything else, to be honest. So, I am going to run over there and do that. I'm also going to mass print while I'm over there so that we can go ahead and get started on mystery kits. Ozzy. What do you have? What do you have? Give it. Give it. Anyway, so that is what is going on on Saturday. Um, I may take the camera with me and just kind of like go through, I don't know, the process of the whether or not it's doing well. I don't know how much anybody actually cares about that. Um, if it doesn't work, then we're just gonna keep on with minks. I mean, minks seem to work. The only problem with them is, hi. Yeah, you're gonna show him your toy? Yeah, you're gonna sniff the camera? Um, he just got the lens all wet. Anyway, um, minks are okay, but I have had one catch on fire. I know of other people who have had them catch on fire, and I feel like they don't work for very long before you have to replace them. Uh, we do have two that mom like rotates, but we have replaced those two over and over again. Um, she never runs more than one at a time, which is fine. Um, we rather, or I would rather her just like switch them out. But they seem to, after a while, kind of maybe lose like the pressure at what they're foiling. I don't know if they somehow get like loose or if they just have gotten too hot and stuff is melting. I don't, I don't know. And they also seem to, um, as they've been used more and more, get way too hot way too quickly. So they're having to be switched out constantly. And because of how quickly they're having to be switched, the one that she wasn't using is still way too hot. Um, so we're gonna try this new one and then, I don't know, maybe try some other ones if this one doesn't work. But it seems like I always end up going back to a mink just because it actually works. Um, anyway, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing today. I probably will take this camera with me and if I remember, I will um, get some footage while I'm over there. So I will talk to you guys later. Hey guys, it is Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday. It's about 4.30 p.m. I just got home, um, I finished up all of the $2 Tuesday items um, while I was at mom's and I'm gonna package those a little bit later. Oh my goodness, it's so warm. Anyway, I just went under the house, which is something I normally won't do, but stopped at Pier 1 this morning because I had a coupon that was gonna expire and I picked up just one thing. Um, I'll bring it in and show it to you guys in a second, but it is Christmas um, related or, well, it's winter. A lot of the stuff in my house when I say Christmas is actually more winter. Um, but anyway, so I did that and then I was like, I have to decorate and I have to do it now. Like, <laughs> I, I need to. So I figured I would at least attempt to get under my house and see if I could do it and I did. So I pulled out everything except for the Christmas tree. Um, I'm gonna have to have help getting that out from underneath there, it's just too heavy. But you guys can see, um, I've got some stuff out here on the porch right now. I have got to get up into the closet and get some stuff out. I need to go grab the other thing that is in my car. And then tomorrow, um, another reason I'm doing this is because tomorrow I'm actually going to look at, let's see, Brian and I went to Michael's the other day, but we're gonna go to Hobby Lobby, a different Michael's, to Target. Like I said, I went into Pier 1. Um, we're gonna go just to a few different places to look for some more Christmas things, because I had mentioned that this house, I'm gonna need some different stuff. So yeah, that's gonna happen tomorrow, so I really wanted to go ahead and get everything set out so I knew exactly what I kinda needed before I started um, buying stuff. So that's what's gonna happen. Also, my hair is straight, which is just, it's weird, but 
Um, I do still have a little bit of this migraine. It's nothing like what it was though, so I'm really happy about that. I'm currently making some dinner. Um, like I said, I am on keto, so I'm making just a fajita, just chicken. Um, I have low carb tortillas, sour cream, some salsa, maybe some peppers, I don't know. I'm just gonna throw some stuff together. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to pull all this stuff in. I am gonna set up the tripod so I can try to show you guys as I'm doing this. I don't know how good that's gonna be. And also, this isn't gonna be like a, here it is, it's decorated. It's gonna be kind of in parts, um, just because I'm gonna do what I've got here. Then, like I said, we're gonna go shopping tomorrow, and then at some other point, I'll be putting up the tree. Um, so it's gonna be kind of done in parts, but I'm gonna show you guys everything that I can, and then probably once I get everything totally done, I will do an actual like walkthrough tour. I also really want to redo my bedroom. I've not bought, I just realized that this burner isn't on. <laughs> I've had that chicken in there for like five minutes and the burner isn't even turned on. Anyway, um, what was I saying? I wanna redo my bedroom. Not bought new bedroom furniture in like three years since I was living in a certain space. I need to get an actual bed frame. I do have like a metal bed frame, but I'm wanting to get like a, and I do have a headboard, which isn't part of everything, but I wanna get an actual like big, nice bed frame that's like wooden, not metal. Um, and I want to get some new nightstands. I don't, I'm going to have to buy new dressers the next time I move. Um, cause mine are from Ikea and I don't think they'll survive another move. I think they will fall apart, but yeah, so that's what I'm wanting to do. Um, I'm going to drag all this in here and eat some dinner and then I will try to get a tripod set up and show you guys what I'm doing. Okay. So the first thing that I'm currently doing, you guys can't see. Everything is on this table. So obviously the first thing I need to do is get rid of all of the fall stuff. So I've already started that. So I was letting the camera battery charge a bit because it was dead. Um, so I've got a ton of fall stuff that I need to deal with. I don't know how this is gonna work with me trying to film actually putting all of this together or if I'm just gonna have to kind of wait and show you guys afterwards. Um, <clears throat> but that's what I'm doing currently. I guess I'm just gonna leave it the way it is right now. I think you guys can see most everything. Anyway, house is a mess. Um, I blame that one right there. So yeah, but that's what I'm doing right now is just getting up all the fall stuff I did already throw the pillows on the couch so that I could put the fall pillows in this box But that is what is happening right now. I'm just gonna probably like speed you guys through this part and maybe you can kind of see
<clears throat> okay, so I just realized you guys probably can't see anything that I'm doing. So, I put this right here. That's probably not going to stay there. I don't know what I'm going to... I said before, I want to do um, garland all across the top of the kitchen cabinets. So more than likely, that's going to get moved. For right now, it's going to stay there because I don't know where else to... Oh, maybe up there. Um, the thing is, everything for the most part in this house for Christmas is silver and gold. It's not red and green. Um, I'm going to show you guys this really quick. So I have this thing which is one of my favorite and candles like with glass actually goes in there i just need to unpack it um and i think i'm going to keep that there because it does fit decently but there are some things in the kitchen that do have red and green i don't know if i'm gonna have to i've got this camera so close to my face i don't know if i'm gonna have to replace that stuff because like there's that and then there's that and then i've got like a santa cookie jar and then i've got <clears throat> see the other house was kind of the other house was kind of separated, so I was able to do different colors in different places. So I have like some of these snowmen and stuff that have some red in them. Um, so these, oh, I'm sorry, Ozzy. These are the only two pillows that I have found so far, but the white fur and the gray fur generally stay. So I don't, I don't know. Anyway, I wanted to show you guys that and I'm gonna keep going. I don't know how great this camera angle is, but we're gonna, we're gonna try. I think you guys can kind of see. But yeah, I don't know if that's gonna stay in right there where it's at, but we'll find out. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you guys what I'm doing. Um, so we've got a bunch of stuff right here, and now, I don't really know how I wanna do this. So I've got this um, that's full of all these things that had been out for fall. So I'm actually gonna put all these in a Ziploc bag, and then I'm gonna run out, and I'm gonna grab what I had bought at Pier 1, and I will go ahead and show you guys that, because it's essentially like very similar to that centerpiece right now that's on the table. But I don't know if I want to keep that where it is. I kind of do, but then I kind of don't know if that's gonna work. I may put it on the island instead, just so that it's something that is like centered and it's not so incredibly big that I can't cook. Um, anything else I put here, I'm afraid it's gonna be just too big and I'm not gonna be able to cook. But anyway, so putting all of these in a bag so they don't get everywhere. Anyway, so normally when I go into Pier 1, there's like a zillion things that I want. But this time, a lot of their stuff is very like traditional color. They didn't have a ton of like my colors for in here. Um, and this is winter. Like I, I this most of this stuff, well, a lot of this stuff, now I'm looking around maybe. Um, a lot of this stuff is actually stuff that I will keep up um, throughout winter. And now that I think about it, I think I want to move that onto the dining room table. My camera's gonna die before I can get this done. Anyway, so this is what I picked up at Pier 1. And it's just kind of like what's on the table now. Like I said, it's just a big candle thing. Um, but on the sides, it's got like pine cones and there's some ornaments. And I thought this was just really pretty. And honestly, if they would have had two, I would have gotten another one because I think it would have looked really nice like that. But they only had the one, um, and that's okay. So I am going to put you guys back where you, ooh, I'm gonna drop everything. Put you guys back where you were and continue. But honestly, I feel like this can't be that great to watch. I'm gonna go ahead and stop, um, and then I'm gonna finish what I'm doing, and then I'll kind of like walk you guys around. And then like when I decorate the tree, um, maybe I'll keep this on and like speed through that. But because of how I'm moving around, I don't think you guys can see me very well, and I don't think this is helpful. So I will finish what I'm doing, and then come back and actually show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so I knew I was gonna have to get some stuff for this house just because of how open this main room is, like the living room slash kitchen slash dining room area. I'm gonna have to get so much stuff though. Um, so let me show you guys what I've done. Um, in the kitchen here, I may switch all this stuff out. There is some red and green things. Um, I Because this is such a big open room, I may end up, like the only thing really in here that's super kitchen related is the towel and then the Santa um, cookie jar. So I think, oh, you know what I just realized too? Let's move this. Um, so I think that 
it's a possibility you really can't see what that says, but that I'm going to get some different stuff for in here for the kitchen. So I have this and I don't know what to do with it. Um, it actually lights up. I bought it last year and I more than likely if I end up doing um, or getting some different stuff for in here, what I'll do is take the red and green stuff and put it all in the bedroom so that the bedroom's like decorated as well. So in here I've got um, just some stuff. There's some stuff. Um, and I ended up putting these two snowmen right up in the windowsill. I just moved that, let it snow up there. Um, I don't think I'm going to keep those things where they are. I think I'm going to take this whole ordeal if I keep this here and actually move it into this corner because that's where it's normally decorated. I've got fall stuff all down here. Um, I, like I said, I want to get garland for up there or something. I don't know what yet. Um, and I just put these actually both light up as well. When I do like a full tour, when everything is done, I'll show you guys. So I put that present in that tree right there. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but they're both really pretty and sparkly. Um, so I did move what I had on the entryway table to the dining room table. It'll focus. I don't know where my other two candles are. I'm going to have to find those. Um, but I think this looks better here. And I'm going to get a runner to go under it. And I'm possibly going to get like plate settings to put over here. When I was in Pier 1, they actually had some I really liked. But I didn't, I didn't get them. Um, this I don't know what to do with yet. So let me show you guys. The bookcase, I still need to replace the whole bookcase. I actually found one that I really, really want at Target. And it's out of stock online and in store. So I don't know. Um, so let me show you guys. This pink blanket needs to go. But I put those two pillows on the couch. We have those. I do have more pillows, I believe, in this bin over here that holds pillows. So I need to go through those. Um, all of these need to go and then I'm going to put the new bookshelf in that actually has cabinets in it and then I've got this guy right here. I want to do garland all across the top of this so I've not moved anything else over here yet and then these two things are just or these three things I should say are just sitting here for right now. So these are some of my favorites. I actually made these um, or I put the ornaments in them and this was at Target and then I actually also put like fairy lights all through it. Yeah. So I, I love those. Um, I don't know what to do with them for right now. And then this thing I just bought at Pier 1, the candle that I have does not fit in it, so I'm going to have to get a different one. But I think that's probably what I'm going to leave on this table is just this piece. Um, these I'm not totally sure what to do with yet. And then I did this over here. There's still stuff everywhere because I'm just not totally sure about anything yet. So you guys can see I have my normal clock. I've got a little snowman. Um, there's a lantern. I may move that and then I've got that sign right there um, That it's like super sparkly. I really like it. I need to get some more stuff like that I think I do want to replace um, for Christmas this as well as this with two like Christmassy type things and then down here um, I've got another sign that says Noel and then I've got two more of those things from Target and then just some other stuff so as you can see I'm upside down as you can see I still need a lot of stuff um, like a lot. I really didn't think it was like this, but, and all the bathrooms and everything I need to do, like I want to do, let me show you guys. Um, I'll take you in the guest bathroom. So I have these little like fake flowery things and I've got them in my bathroom as well. So if you guys can see like this thing right here, I've got a few of those in my bathroom. I've got this one in this bathroom. I want to replace that with more like Christmassy floral type things. And then I don't really know what else to do in this bathroom. Um, my bathroom, actually, that might be a good idea for my bathroom is to put that um, long green florally, not floral, but like uh, garland type thing in. Uh, I don't know how much I want to show this. So it's a little bit of a mess. Um, you guys can see I have those two plants right there. And then just a bunch of junk everywhere. Um, so I'm thinking maybe bring that thing in and put it... See, but if I put it in the center, then the towel's gonna kind of go over it. I may not. I was looking online at Kirkland's and they actually have like the same size as these ones that I've already got. Um, they're even in the bedroom, like these guys. Uh, but anyway, they've got the same size as those, but they're like, they've got little berries in them or like pine cones and they're in like 10 bucks. Oh, they're so cute. So I'm gonna get some of those, I think. Um, but yeah, so this did not work out quite the way I thought it was going to. I thought I had way more than this. Those are really can't oop oop okay okay 
down okay anyway so I thought I had more stuff than this but I guess just the difference in the space that I've got because everything is so open it doesn't look like there's a lot it, it's just so spaced out so I guess that's what I'll be doing tomorrow um, we're gonna go I'm not gonna do the haul right when we get back I'll probably do it the next day though um, I'll show you guys everything that I pick up and then I will put it all out and then I'll show you guys again um, I'm hoping to get like the majority of what I need tomorrow or what I think I'm gonna need so I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna take pictures of anywhere that I want things because um, that's my main problem like when I got into Pier 1 today I hadn't drug any of this out yet so I was like what do I need I have no idea exactly what it is that I'm gonna need so that's one reason I wanted to go ahead and get all of this out so that I know what I need and then yeah so I'm gonna just take pictures of each space that I want things for so that while I'm out I can kind of like reference that um, cause today in Pier 1 I just had no idea, so I knew I could use that one thing, but anyway, so that's what it's looking like right now, which is not, I thought I was going to be really happy with this and I'm really not. Like I was expecting to, for it to be all Christmassy. Maybe it's cause there's not a tree in here too though. Anyway, so I'm going to do that tomorrow. I will, uh, talk to you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, so it is currently Wednesday. It is November 7th and I drug the Christmas tree out from underneath, um, the house so I don't know how I managed to get it out and then up these stairs I almost didn't but I got it here so it's on the back porch I'm gonna put it up um, and I'm gonna put it right here because I don't think it's gonna fit where I really want it over where the bookcase is plus then I'd have to actually remove the bookcase so I'm gonna do that I also did change up a little bit over here um, I don't know if I'm gonna keep this the way that it is I'm gonna get some more stuff for it if I do but um, like I've said, everything in here is kind of more silver and gold, but I had a little bit of red stuff, like more traditional colors, I guess is what I should say. So I went ahead and put that over there for right now. But like you guys can see right here, everything really is all like silvers, golds, whites, grays, neutrals. Um, so yeah. We've got everything pretty much the same color. So I don't know, I may end up moving all of that stuff into like the bathrooms where it's not just totally off as far as the colors in here. But for right now, I'm gonna get the tree up. So I'm gonna record that. <sighs> Y'all are gonna watch me struggle. I don't know that I'm gonna even be able to get the top of the tree on all by myself. Although I, I've got chairs I could stand on, I guess. So hopefully I don't fall. Mom's gonna be upset when she sees this. Last year, Rowan actually hung over the staircase to put the top of the tree on. Um, but yeah, so that's what I am about to do. I also need to package up orders today, um, but I'm gonna get this tree up really quickly first, so. Okay, so some problems. Um, the tree is very large, as I've said before. And it could be taller though in this room, but if you guys can see, it kind of like comes out a bit past the hallway. Uh, I don't think I can really move this table down too much. Maybe a little bit, but then that's gonna be off centered if I Let's get this down. Okay, let me put the camera back. So I'm going to try to move some stuff so that I can get the tree so that it's not like directly in front of, I mean, I guess it's fine there to be honest, but I'm gonna try to scoot some stuff a little bit. I'm also gonna go ahead and just like try to fluff it up.
best I could. I don't know that I, I mean, I feel like every year it gets like a little bit less kind of full looking. Um, but I do really like how this tree is. So when I'm doing ornaments, I may try to fluff it up a little bit more. I also want to take this opportunity to apologize to my mother for standing on that chair while I did this. I'm going to get yelled at. Um, anyway, so yeah, it is really early to have a Christmas tree up. Um, you don't need to tell me that. I live alone, so I'm not hurting anybody. Um, like nobody has to deal with this but me. So I don't think that I'm going to do the decorations right this second because I want to get some, let me grab the tree skirt. Okay, so the tree skirt is like this white fur. I didn't realize though, I bought this last year and never put it on the tree. Um, I actually got some like champagne gold wired ribbon. So actually maybe I will put the ornaments up. Anyway, so I don't know how to do this. Um, wrap the ribbon around the tree the way that I want it. So I'm gonna look it up on Pinterest. <laughs> And I'm gonna go ahead and put this down. Actually, I'm gonna sweep first because there's like glitter and everything everywhere. Okay, so I got the tree skirt under there. And I, it's about, oh wow, wait, maybe that's wrong. Have I set the clocks back? I don't know where my phone is, oh. Oh no, it really is about 11 o'clock. Okay, so I'm going to make some breakfast really quickly and I'm gonna look up how to do this ribbon and then I'll be right back to show you. Okay, okay, Ozzy has his ball. Um, I watched a couple of videos and I'm gonna attempt to do the ribbon on this tree. I don't know if it's gonna turn out, but we're gonna try. So they said to take the end and then actually like twist it around a branch and knot it and then kind of go back and forth. So that's what I'm gonna do and see if it works. Also, sorry again, mom, I'm about to be back on this chair. Okay, so this looks nothing like the video. Um, I'm just trying to kind of like drape it. Honestly, I think maybe I need like way thicker ribbon because the tree is kind of large, but I did that looks terrible. So maybe I won't use that. I don't know. For right now, I'm gonna leave it alone. I need to get a ladder out, I think, to like really do this. But um, I'm gonna look for maybe some different ribbon while we are out shopping, cause that just isn't doing it for me. What I really want is like white fur to wrap around the tree, but we will see. So I'm probably just gonna take this back off. I may try to do like a make a bow out of this ribbon to go on the very top, because I don't think I've got anything anywhere for the top of the tree, but it is now um, noon, so I need to go and package these orders really quickly. So I'm gonna do that. Um, and then I probably won't talk to you guys again until we are done shopping and I'm doing like the haul video. So I will see you guys then. Okay, you guys. So as you can probably see, I have my pajamas on. Um, it is about 11 p.m. Um, <laughs> get Aussie. So Brian and I went shopping. We We left here at about five and we got back at about 10. Um, but anyway, so he just left. So I wanted to go ahead and film like the haul part of this. And then I may go ahead and start putting some of this up. Um, I'm like I said, back on keto. So I've got that like keto super energy. So I'm like, I, I need to just do it. I feel like it's gonna bother me. So I ended up getting quite a few things. Um, and I'm trying to think of the best way to even start going through this stuff. I think I'm gonna take you guys and just kind of show you because a lot of it is like, for instance, I got a bunch of garland. So I got, I think four of this kind, which is just kind of like flocked and it's got the pine cones. And yeah, so I got four of those because I do wanna put them above the kitchen, um, the kitchen cabinets, I should say. But then I did get one like really pretty decorative garland. So you guys can see there's like cotton and pine cones and berries and just super pretty. It's got these little like twig almost things in there. So I got a bunch of garland um, and you guys can see it's like everywhere. 
So I'm gonna go over here really quickly. Uh, by the way, all of the gar garland was from Michaels. So I got, these need to be like kind of fluffed, but I got two of each of these. So this one has like a brown uh, wicker base and then it has these tiny little baby pine cones. It's covered in glitter as well as the fake snow and everything. So I got two of those. Um, not totally sure where some of this stuff is going yet. I wanted things for the bathrooms though to go on the counters. So a couple of these may end up there. So I got two of those and then I also got two of these. So these actually look like they have dirt in them. They are in a galvanized metal bucket and they say farm fresh Christmas trees and this, these really need to be fluffed but this one I think I already did a little bit in the store because I wanted to see how it was gonna look. Um, but maybe not, they really need to be pulled down. They were kind of squished. Let's see if I can get these. Yeah, okay, so that is what this one looks like. Just super cute. I loved both of these, and because Michaels was having a really good sale, I just went ahead and I got quite a few of them. Um, so I believe the garland was 50% off, those trees were 50% off. I'm gonna have to go through some of the other stuff that I got, um, and I'm gonna try to just do it, like go through all of Michaels stuff first. And I believe all of it actually was 50% off. So I'm just gonna turn you guys. So I'm gonna move this really quickly because this came from somewhere else. So I also picked up this at Michael's, if I can get it. So I thought this was absolutely gorgeous. It's like a frame and then it's got the florals in here. Um, so this one was 50% off as well, and I actually, if you guys have seen, over here have the one that's like paneled, that farmhouse photo, and then over here I've got this wreath on like the wooden boards. So I think that this one's going to replace the wreath that is over there right now. I'm gonna go ahead and set this down. Um, and then I did get something to replace the farm picture. So let me finish with what I have from Michael's. So I believe that this was the last thing that I got at Michael's, and this doesn't really go with my theme. It's all kind of silver and gold, but over there, there is some other stuff. So this just says freshly cut Christmas trees, $25, just super farmhousey, and I love the star cutouts. It'll be really cute with like a lit candle inside of it. This one was half off as well. So this was originally $30, and it's decently like large. Um, I believe all of the small trees were originally 30, and then the garland was between, 30 and maybe 20 and then the um, big photo frame or the big not photo frame but the big window frame Aussie's just standing behind me um, It was originally 60 I believe so I got everything at a really good deal um, From both Michaels and Hobby Lobby and then I also let me show you because this is the only thing I got from Kirkland's which if you watch my fall vlog or my fall decorating vlog I normally get a lot from there but they just really didn't have much in my colors that I was a really big fan of. So I picked this up, it was originally 50, I did have a 20% off coupon. Um, but the colors in this, if you guys can see, it's kind of skewed on camera to be honest. It's very um, silvers and browns and golds and everything and I think that by that wall where that um, picture is currently, I think it's gonna look really pretty. Um, I, when I saw this, I immediately was like, okay, that's perfect for there, because I really wanted to get something um, Christmas-wise to go over on these walls. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this over here. So I got a couple of things from Target, so I'm gonna grab that. So the first thing that I got was another set of these sheets. I don't know if I've talked about these on the vlog or not, but these sheets are amazing. Um, they're flannel, but they are so, so soft and they're very lightweight. Um, for a king-sized bed, these are $30, which I was just kind of amazed with. So I'm gonna let you guys, if it'll, yeah, let you guys see the label. Um, they have these in Christmas sets. They've got them in, like I originally had bought like a blush pink um, set and then these obviously are just like the stripes so I liked these so much that I wanted to just go ahead and pick up a second set and they are super super affordable so that is the first thing I got and then I didn't actually get much at Target um, our Target and the other Target I had been to the other day was like out of almost everything um, I got a couple of boxes of cards at Target I thought these were super cute and they're both the same by the way so I picked up those and then I did get one like Christmas related item at Target. This was in the dollar spot, 
which was the emptiest I have ever seen it. Like it, it was just totally, everybody had gone like right through it. So I got this cute little, um, it's like a candle, like it's like a silo, I guess. But the top is actually, if it'll pick up like a white glitter, super cute. And I'll probably just put a little tea light in this. Um, I actually think I have an idea of where I'm wanting to put this or what I'm wanting to put it on. Um, so I'll show you guys that in just a second. So that was everything from Target and I'm pretty sure everything else that I have is from Hobby Lobby. Um, everything Christmas in there was also 50% off and they had a lot of really cute stuff. So I am going to, I don't even know how to do this. I guess I'm just gonna keep grabbing things like I've been doing. So I'm gonna go get that and I'll be right back. Okay, so first thing that I got is this angel. Um, I don't know what to call it. It's almost like a burlap twine. And I actually have a reindeer that I, you guys probably saw earlier in the vlog that matches this perfectly. I'll take you to it actually. Um, so right down there is that reindeer. Uh, so yeah, so this um, angel is like an exact match for that. And when I saw it, I just thought it'd be really cute. I didn't buy a ton of red and green stuff. I think I may keep that area over there done in red and green. Um, because it is kind of back on the wall, I don't feel like it throws everything off like too much, but I'll have to get everything up and then see how I feel about it. Uh, what else? Let me go grab some more stuff. Okay, so I actually just went ahead and put everything in the floor um, so I can just kind of get to it. So, the first things that I picked up were these three. Let's see if I can hold all three of these at the same time. So, they say um, Noel, Peace, and Joy, and they're just these little wooden blocks, but the colors that focus. The colors and everything are so perfect, so I believe I'm gonna be putting these over in the entryway. Um, how I've got those three shelves, I think I'm gonna put those up there. And these were originally $5.99, so they were only $3, which I didn't think was bad. Um, the next thing, I'm literally just digging stuff off of the floor. The next thing that I got um, are a couple of signs. And I love these for Christmas. I love that they don't really have to hang, they can just kind of go up. So the first one that I got here is whitewashed wood. And then with a gray, it says peace on earth. I thought this one was really cute. This is originally 15, so it would have been like, what, 750? Um, and then I also picked up this one that has the galvanized metal and it says Merry Christmas. This one was originally 17.99. I'm not gonna sit here and keep doing math. It's, I'm exhausted, it's so late at night right now. Um, so yeah, I picked up both of those. I looked for more signs because I actually wanted to get quite a few things like that and they just didn't have many in my colors. Um, everything was red and green, so. Let's see. The next thing that I picked up, and this isn't necessarily for Christmas, um, is this tray. And if you guys can see, it's galvanized metal on the sides and on the handles. And then the inside, is actually like a distressed wood. And I thought this was so cute. So this was originally 30, so 15. It does say on the inside Christmas 2018, but this is something that I would leave up um, and just change out what's on it. I believe I'm gonna be putting this on the living room table or possibly on the kitchen island. I'm not totally sure. I had a plan and I actually sat down and made a plan of everything I needed and what I needed it for. I took pictures of each place. And then once we actually got in um, to the stores, I, it didn't work that way. Um, I did think it would, but it's just so hard for me to do it that way. Instead, I see things that I like, and then I kind of try to visualize where I may put them, but anyway. So the next thing I've got in here, poor Ozzy. Um, I thought this was so cute. So this is a just faux focus. Focus. I was trying to focus on my door. Let me turn a little bit. Yeah, okay, so this is like a little faux fur present and then it has a burlap ribbon and then on the top is, come on, some pine cones, just glitter, super pretty. I thought this was so adorable. Um, I originally had a larger one that was a cream color and then Brian saw this one and it was the gray and I liked that better. Um, so this was originally $19.99, so 10 bucks. I think this is super cute um, and I kind of have an idea in my head of where I'm, or what I'm wanting to do with it. And I wanted to get, oh God, everything's falling. Um, the cream colored one was a good bit bigger and I was wanting that, it's like a grayish 
beige-ish color. Like it's not just totally gray. Um, anyway, I was wanting to get another one that was bigger in that color, but they didn't have it, so I just didn't. The next thing that I've got is a new wreath hanger because mine was way too long and that's why my wreath was on the inside of this door. I actually have had a really hard time finding one this short. Like this is way shorter than what is currently on the door. So I was pretty excited to find one so short. Next thing is, let's see. This is just a, it's a glittery pine cone. The camera is not wanting to focus. But yeah, I just, I thought this was super cute. Uh, 10 bucks, so $5 after it was half off. Um, and then, where did that wreath, okay. So I got this. So this is a wreath holder, but it's a suction cup which I thought was a really clever idea, especially for somebody like me who has issues with the way that the front of my door is. There's actually a wooden shelf underneath where the windows are, um, but that's not what this is for. So I want to put um, the wreath that I'm about to show you guys onto the mirror that's right there. So I thought that the easiest way to do that would definitely be to suction cup it to the mirror. So when I saw, well, that I didn't think that until I saw this, but once I saw this, I thought that's perfect, we'll do that. Um, so I got that. And then to go on that mirror, I didn't get a wreath for the front door yet. Um, there were quite a few I liked at Hobby Lobby, but that was one of the first places we went to, and then I didn't get it there. So I got this to go on the mirror. And I, it's just, it's a very kind of simple, but I thought it was a very, very pretty wreath. So that's for the mirror. Okay, so the next thing, and actually I think these may all be the same thing. So I got these trees that I think are so stunning. I don't know how well you guys can see that. I'm gonna set it down and I'll bring you guys to it. So it has the pine cones. It's got like the, I don't even know what to call this, but I love this like woodsy color that this is. And it just kind of goes all the way up. It is sparkly. It has the uh, like faux snow on it. It's the flocked, I guess, but I got that size and then I actually ended up getting three of them. So I got the, I think I got two of the taller ones and one of the smaller ones. I'm covered in glitter and fake snow, okay. So the bigger ones were 25 and then, or wait, no, I got two small ones. So the smaller ones were 25 and the bigger one was 29, so 12 and 15. Um, so what I think I'm gonna do is actually replace what's going on on this table with the three of these. I wanna get like a gold runner to go underneath it and then maybe put, I don't know, some candles or something. But I thought that these were just so pretty. So anyway. Um, I think that that is it. Yeah, I think that that's it. And like as we were leaving, I was like, you know, we got a lot of stuff, but I don't feel like I really got what I needed or enough stuff. So I may go back. Um, I really want to see if I can get some stuff at Target. So I may try the other Target that's here. Um, but yeah, so this is everything that I picked up. Um, and I will show you guys. So the best that I can, me like putting things where they're supposed to be, um, but that's kind of hard to do. But as of right now, I don't know if I want to do this. I'm going to do a little bit of it tonight and then I'm going to go to bed. But I will uh, show you guys that. Good morning, you guys. It is Thursday, uh, about 9.30. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead, because this house, like because there's so much everywhere as far as the Christmas stuff, before I head over to mom's to work, whoop, I'm gonna go ahead and get this finished. So I'm just gonna kind of set up the camera and like show you guys as I'm doing it. Um, and then when I get back home later tonight, it's probably gonna be really late tonight, I need to actually clean this house. Ozzy's been track, ooh, tracking mud in. Um, so after I do that, I will kind of like walk you guys around and show you everything. But for right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and get stuff put where I want it.
Okay, so some current issues. So I bought these and I love them and I do think that they look pretty right there. But I bought this pretty specifically to go near it and now I'm thinking maybe I need a second one so that I could put them in between the trees. I almost want to take those trees and move them onto this table and then take this big piece and move it onto the kitchen counter. Um, that way I could put a runner under these. I can't really put a runner under this. I mean, I'm sure I could, but I don't think it would look that great. So, maybe that's what I'll do. Because if I put those onto the dining room table, I can actually do some more stuff on the sides of them. So I don't know. For right now, I'm going to leave them there. Um, I did put this little tray right over here in the corner. We've got the Merry Christmas sign right there. I just, I feel like there's some more things that I'm going to have to pick up. Um, this over here... Oh, that's gonna bother me. That needs to be fixed. So this needs to go up a bit so that it's not so uneven. Um, anyway, so this right here, I actually like how it's looking other than the fact that that's uneven. I'm about to fix that. Um, this is like the only corner that has more traditional colors. Ignore my pile of um, fall stuff that I need to get rid of. So I put, I kind of started to move this around a bit and then decided I really didn't like how I was doing it. So I did put the Joy piece and Noel right there. Um, and then I put the picture up. I'm sh I think I filmed that last night. I put this up and it keeps leaning crooked. So I'm gonna have to get something to deal with that. Um, and then I put these two little trees on either side of the television, just kind of behind the garland. I think I'm gonna have to get another piece of garland because that doesn't look very full. Uh, there's still stuff literally everywhere. So one of those little trees I put in the bathroom, but I don't think I like how they look. In my bathroom they might be better because my counter is so large, but I've got that guy right there for right now, and I just, I don't think that looks very good. So since my counter runs like really, really long, I think that these would look better in there. I may do that in a bit. Um, right now I was just trying to get to the point that I can make breakfast because there was so much stuff. Um, so yeah, I did the garland you guys saw above here and I need to get a little bit more for up there. I want to get a little bit more for the TV. Um, I need to fix that because the more I see it, the more it's driving me insane. I need to take everything that's fall related. I took a bunch, but I need to take the rest of it and move it underneath the house so that it's not in the way. And I need to, I don't know. I need something for this big space right here. So I was going to get an actual, like another Christmas tree that like a big one, like not a big one, but a smaller one to go right there. And I didn't, um, I don't know. I may do like a big, like standing, like light up reindeer or something. I don't know. I'm going to figure it out. Um, I need to finish all of this though. But anyway, so I'm about to make some breakfast and then I need to get to work. So I will come back and mess with this a little bit more later and I'll show you guys, um, I knew when we were out that I didn't get enough, but there wasn't anything really that I didn't grab that I actually really liked. So there's that. Um, I think the number one things right now is I need to get, I'm going to put this into my phone as I'm saying it. I need to get a runner for that table. 
I need the candle for that over there. Everything's in this list and I just didn't do it. Um, I need the flowers for the bathrooms, I think. Um, more garland is already on here and pit. Yeah, everything's on here. I just didn't, I didn't really find everything that I wanted. So yeah, it's kind of coming together. It's just, it's all still such a mess um, where I've just got stuff strewn everywhere. But yeah, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go to mom's and work for a bit because I, well, not for a bit. I'm gonna be working really late tonight. Um, but yeah, I need to go and do that for right now. So I am going to go and do that and I will talk to you guys a little bit later. Hey guys, it is currently Saturday. It's about 3 p.m. Um, I went and worked this morning. Ozzy didn't go with me. So I ended up coming back pretty early. Um, on my way though, I did stop at um, Michael's and I grabbed a little bit more garland for the TV. So I did get a different kind. This one has some glitter, some pine cones, some berries. Um, and I'm just gonna kind of like wrap it within what's already in there. As you can see, the tree has still not been dealt with. Um, I can't figure out this ribbon situation. I can't make it look the way I want it to look. I think I maybe need a thicker ribbon um, or I just, I don't know, I can't do it. So I'm probably just gonna take the ribbon off. Um, but I need to get the ornaments on. I'm kind of trying to wait until Tuesday so Rowan can help. She really likes to help me with that. I also grabbed this for Ozzy at Target. How cute is he? Little elf chipmunk. Um, anyway, so that is what I'm about to do. I need to eat, I've not eaten since this morning. Um, and also my garland that's on top of this cabinet keeps getting stuck in this cabinet. Yeah, I'm gonna have to jump up there and fix that as well. Um, but yeah, so nothing else has really happened. I will do like a whole overview of all the decorations as soon as I finish everything. Um, but I don't think that's gonna be in this vlog. I mean, maybe I could wait and do that, but I may just wait and upload this after I finish everything. Um, anyway, I need to go back to a couple of places and get a few more things. Um, for the most part, everything in here is finished. I'd like to do a little bit more in the kitchen area. Um, and then I've got this big space right here. And when I was in Michael's, Ozzy's tools are everywhere. When I was in Michael's, I actually almost bought a pre-lit tree that was flocked, that was in like this really pretty base. And it was only like 60 or $70, it was on sale, it was half off. Um, but I didn't get it because I just wasn't, oh, this TV, why is this that crooked? I must have scooted this out because this looks awful. Anyway, I'm going to scoot the TV back. Oh my God. Put you guys down for just a second. Okay, so I fixed that. It, that must have been when I undid the Xbox. I had to unplug everything. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to fix the garland that's in here. Um, just kind of wrap this up. These two pieces of garland were normally $20 a piece. They were half off, so 10 bucks each, which is not bad. At least I don't think that's bad at all. Um, so yeah, I'm going to set you guys right here. And maybe try to zoom you guys in. And um, I'm gonna get this garland put together. What's happening? There we go, just really quickly. First of all, look at the floor. That's all glitter from me moving that just then. Um, the base of the television is covered in it. Anyway, so this is what it's looking like. That's the camera I use to watch Oz. I can't really do anything with that. But I do think it looks much better now. It's way fuller. Um, and I like adding in a little bit of the red and just some of the sparkly and stuff. So, where's my... There we go. Yeah. So, sorry for the lighting and everything. I actually like that a lot better. I may try to drape it down a little bit um, through the sides, the way that it's draping a little bit right here. I think it'd be pretty if maybe I could get it to drape down a little bit, kind of on either side. But it's, yeah. Did that, oh, it's gonna fall. Oh no, okay. Anyway, um, I need to actually get like the hook that I got for the wreath. Oh, dear Lord. The hook that I got for the wreath is actually really great. Um, I'm gonna set you guys on the table because, can you see anything? 
can't really can I set you on this there we go um, it, it's like a clear hook so you can't really see it and I think that to have those for a few different things could actually work out really well um, like if I did want to drape this instead of trying to use washi tape obviously that's not you know the best thing um, but those clear things would have been really good for that So as far as the draping goes, that's probably not gonna happen. Just cause I don't really have a way to keep it where it needs to be. So I am trying to pull out some of, bend that a little bit, some of the like more flocked pieces so that you can see them because this made this really like green. But I do think that for the most part that looks way better. It's definitely the way that I wanted it because when I put that one down it just wasn't full at all. Um, as far as the trees that are sitting on either side, I may end up moving those. Also this has to be, I'm dying. Um, I may end up moving those because this is a lot now I feel like. And I also really want to get um, stockings for Oz and I to do on either side, like get a little hook. The ones that I wanted were the champagne colored deer ones that Target had and I checked and they did not have those anymore. Um, so I may try to order them online. Anyway, I just wanted to hop on and show you guys that and uh, whenever I get some more or I continue to decorate, I will talk to you guys again. Hey guys, it is Sunday, um, November 11th. Isn't that insane that it's already November 11th? Um, I... I got up this morning, uh, he doesn't play with the ball until I pick up this camera. I got up this morning and got a little bit of stuff done around the house. Um, I don't know what, now that I'm looking around the house, because I'm a... Do you just know when I get the camera? Hi. Um, anyway, so I didn't go to mom's until about 11 o'clock, and I, Ozzy wouldn't go with me. He hid underneath the table again. So by the time that I got there, I was just done. I was like, you know, I need to go home. I need to clean. I need to film. Um, the plan with me is I need to really clean the house, like a deep clean. Um, I need to get the, the ornaments on the Christmas tree so that I can kind of get everything put back down in storage because right now stuff is still out here. Um, Ozzy was at home. I needed to get groceries. So I ended up um, talking to Gampa for a little bit and then just going and getting my groceries. And uh, I don't know what this dog's doing. Anyway, and coming back home. So it is now about 3.30. So I got a really late start this morning. I woke up not feeling the best. So I didn't even leave the house until pretty late. Um, but anyway, so I'm about to, I really want to like, it's keto. Keto is doing this to me, but I really want to like dump all the cabinets and actually get rid of a bunch of stuff and organize things. Um, especially because I am going to be running stuff down underneath the house. So I want to put things into storage that are not being used, but that I'm going to still need eventually. And I need to, like I said, clean this house and get the ornaments on the tree. So now I'm just kind of looking around like, what am I, where should I start? Um, and it's not that anything is like super dirty. If we're being totally honest, like the floors need to be mopped. Having the gate has been absolutely wonderful, but Ozzy likes to go in and out all the time and he tracks mud and everything else in every single time that he comes in. Um, and I try to like get it if it's big pieces of mud, but for the most part, there's just puppy prints all over my floors. So I need to mop these floors. I need to vacuum because everything that I own is currently covered in glitter. Um, which is just how it is during Christmas. I'm, I'm pretty used to it. The coffee table actually, I set my purse on it just a minute ago and there's just like a thin coating of glitter across the entire coffee table. Anyway, I need to do this. <clears throat> and I'm like contemplating. I personally have been watching a lot of clean with me videos. <laughs> It's like, it relaxes me and it also gives me ideas. Um, so I'm kind of like contemplating doing something like that. Like just bringing the camera around with me while I clean. Um, I don't know if that's anything anybody's gonna be interested in though. So maybe not. Plus we're gonna be, we're gonna be making a pretty long vlog here um, because I am gonna go ahead and do the Christmas tree. 
but you guys are gonna have to wait until next week to see that because it, it's I, I I need to split this up like I can already tell I need to split this vlog up because I didn't put one up last week I don't think so we're like Two weeks worth of footage at this point that I'm about to have to cut down And I'm gonna be cutting most of it just for it to be like the decorating vlog So this one's gonna go up. This is gonna be like a decorate the house with me I'm not gonna do like a final overview slash reveal of the whole house although you've seen most of it um, Until I get the tree done and then next week's vlog will be decorating the tree and then like a whole tour of everything that has been done so far um i really need to get back to uh, like michael's um to deal with some stuff i don't know how much i want to decorate my bedroom but i do want to get some stuff for the bedroom as well as for my bathroom i did a couple of things in the guest bathroom um but it's not going to be anything crazy it's not going to be like it is out here where it's just christmas everywhere but i'm going to go ahead and end this vlog here um, I hope that you guys enjoyed watching. If you would like to see like a clean slash organize with me type video, let me know down in the comments below and that's something that I will definitely do. Well, hello. Well, hello. Um, but anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next week. Bye guys.